I'm Nathan. I'm Lee. And today, hey man, what are we doing today? We have. Because I never know. We have. <laughs> That's why I have to ask you. No problem, mate. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Um, Chowney. Some more Chowney. Chowney. So, you've probably seen. <laughs> are you right? <laughs> okay, fine. Ignore him. <laughs> Ignore that man. Um, well, this, is not, this is not a name that everybody might be familiar with. I, no. I know he wasn't. No, it's until um, we looked at some of it. So relatively new brand. It's only been around for a few years. Um, from where? Whence? Um, from whence? Well, um, the uh, the creator um, is based in Bristol. Um, oh. but, uh, but Steve Chowney, yeah, he's been. Um, uh, so the, it's the a backbone. British. It's like, it's like a British thing. Right? It yeah. is. It is really. His I mean, base is British. Sounds like it. Sounds like it. Well, he is. I mean, he's. From, <laughs> <laughs> He's making these from uh, India. He's actually crafting these out in India. Is he? Yeah. It's a truly uh, international affair then. It's, yeah, it is. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, They're very pretty, I have to say. Oh, I'm really struck because it's, it's, got, it's got that real nice sort of, uh, you know, one, one doesn't like to make him pair Yes, but, but, uh, but like it's a bit, but, a, a bit, a little bit of Lembicky, like Stanley Clarky Lembicky. It is, you know it what is. I mean? that, that body shot off. Well, so, just to explain, we're talking about really today the one that Nathan's got here, which is the SWB Pro, um, which is the new in the range. Um, I have here an SWB One, which has been around for a little while now, part of their, their main sort of catalog. Right. Um, and this was designed by Scott Whit Whitley, who um, loves the, the sort of short scale um, way of playing. So this is a 30 inch, both of these are 30 inch scale length instead of 34. Okay. Um, so it makes everything a little bit a little bit tighter, a little yep. bit easier to get to as well, right. you know, so that the frets are a little bit um, closer together. So if you've got uh, tiny hands, small. you've got tiny hands. Oh, yeah. Uh, it uh, would be useful hands. then. Yeah, it? absolutely. And you're a little bit this colour. Oh, yeah. That's, mm. oh. Anyway, um, <clears throat> um, so, yeah, could be for you. Uh, so maybe uh, people just learn it, kids maybe. It'd be, absolutely. It would be better, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, do Because to right. be honest with it, normal scale basses, sometimes I struggle with them. You know what I mean? Yeah, especially if you play anything down... Got small hands, I've got normal hands. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and absolutely, anything down F, you're playing the F and you're trying to, you know, put any sort of scale work down there, it can be a bit of a stretch. F? Which so, one's that? It, it's the one down here, mate. The one just in front of oh, the nut. Oh, I don't bother with that. Yeah, no, no. no, no I don't, I don't no. play in F. <laughs> it's too far down. <laughs> yeah. All right. So so this one, you've gone from um, this being like a standard mahogany or ash body, you can, you can get for the SWB1s, um, maple neck, um, all bolt-on construction, ebony board, um, some ebony, Ooh, ebony, luxury, absolutely, um, and some and a really decent nine volt preamp that's um, just bass and treble. And say we've covered this before, guys. But just and in that's case, this one you're talking. This about. is this one. Yeah. 
your one just here, mate, is the new upgraded, upgraded model. So right. We have a, a proper court maple top on this particular model. That's a lovely finish, isn't it? It is. It, it is. I mean, it's they, lovely. We, we've only got this particular one through, so we thought we'd just just show you why we've got it, and because mm. um, it will probably fly off pretty very soon. Um, but there is another model um, that comes in a walnut and ash um, combination, so it's more of a natural top to it. Right. Um, walnut natural top, satin finish. It looks gorgeous. You'll have um, to imagine we, that. Hopefully, we can show a picture on screen now, ah, the boys. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, that was um, that's a lovely one coming in stock soon. Uh, but these you can actually pick in any colour you fancy from the Chowney catalogue. So they do Ooh. their their green, their emerald green, the the red burst, the purple, the blues, black burst as well. So um, so yeah, there's a lot to choose from. Um, and let's know if there's anything say that we don't have in stock that you'd like to, to see because we can get hold of them. Um, but yeah, the standard one is this walnut ash combination, which is just uh, is gorgeous. But just to talk you through a new few the little, little specs you get on this. You've got five piece neck, you might have seen. <gasps> so, um, yeah, a little bit stronger to, yeah, actually, sort of the construction on it. So, it's uh, five piece maple and walnut. So, maple, walnut, maple, walnut, maple. Sounds delicious. Sounds delish. Um, and, yeah, as I say, you've got a uh, quilt maple top on the front. You can see, as you're showing very, very well mm. here, mate, 18 volt preamp. So, two battery compartments. It's um, twice as volty. Twice as volty. As that one. As this. Um, Through. Body yeah. stringing. Through body stringing. If you this want one, that or not, you can do it through the bridge. Yeah. That the individual bridge pieces. Yeah, I've got exactly the same one here, man. So, um, the what's, the, main... what's, the, what's the idea with the individual uh, saddles? Is there a, is a benefit of that? Or, uh... Well, I know that when they brought this one out, the, the, the whole thing. Do you love these questions? <laughs> I do. I do, of course, man. I get it every day. It's nice in the shop. Oh, good, good. But I'm not on camera. Um, but, no pressure. Uh, no pressure. Um, but absolutely. So, the, when they brought this out, there was um, the idea around. Um, making this angled pickup yeah. sort of design mm -hmm. with the pushback saddles so that you can get um, uh, slightly better articulation on the top. Um, so, well, the dusty end, basically. Um, and especially with cords, and you'll hear, I mean, I, I've, I found it straight away, it's the, um, the cord is, uh, is a lot more precise. You can hear every individual note really, really clearly. Oh. Um, so, yeah, that's a nice little design feature, which you've obviously got on, on yours there as well, man. Yeah. What you, you have that I don't is you've got a full EMG sort of set up, so EMG preamp okay. and EMG uh, active pickups as well. All right, so we've so, got like a, obviously a three-way pickup selector, back, both, front. That's it. Volume and uh, treble and bass. Treble and bass. Uh, cut and boost we've got on there. You do indeed, yep. And yeah. so, as you said, you've got the same bridge on this band as well, so that individual um, saddles, ebony board again, yeah. um, and they've got upgraded tuners as well on this one. So, um, so yeah, it's it's a it's a nice little upgrade. It's, it's a lovely thing. Isn't it? it is. It's we, so pretty. It's, it's just such a nice. It is. Nice and, and, they, and do you know, I like the small body. Uh, you know, I'm getting a. Uh, I would uh, the normal basis is a bit. A bit too clunky and you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Sometimes you think, oh yeah, this is quite nice. Well, this is you know, okay. So you've been very kindly, you know, you, you've inspired me over the last year, eighteen months we've been doing this. Yeah, you have. Blimey. Yeah. Um, and uh, and we're trying to get my <laughs> nurse. <laughs> Is that a bed again? <laughs> yes. Trying to get my slap on. Oh yeah. You know. Oh yeah. Um, you old slapper. You know, slapper. Um, this was the first base. I, I thought actually, do you know what? To to have that everything feels a lot more compact i can get pull this into my body nice and nice and easy instead of my jazz bases which it feels just so big to try and get yeah get around and i i can just about do it on a jazz but this it makes it so much easier and okay. it has got that that um i don't want to say that say it again but that alembic kind of pop to it with both pickups on mm. um it does sound great so yeah I, I've, I've been considering steve if you're watching there's a <laughs> <laughs> considering getting one. Um, <laughs> um, ah, nice one. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, me too, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nathan's quite keen. Yeah, I've. Yeah. Well, I was, <laughs> lovely. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so, we digress. Uh, we do. Um, but yeah, so you're thinking these are like 495 for the standard SWP yeah. B1s, um, and these are 850. So, okay. So, say so with the. That's, um, not, that's not a lot of money, really, is it, these days? For, uh, not really. I mean, I think space. the EMG, the whole setup there, you're looking, you know, uh, at least a couple hundred, 250, 300, you know, for that, that sort of. Sort of set up with uh, with the pickups yeah. uh, and the preamp as well. Do they so, do any? Uh, uh, do they a five option or anything like that? Not yet. That's not actually yet. not yet. <gasps> um, but yeah, maybe maybe something coming. But yeah, this is the thing, right? So I um, ah, I don't know what, what I can say. But yeah, can you imagine having a five string? Can you short imagine? Stuff? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> that sounds anyway, nice. It might be coming soon. Um, All right. Watch uh, this bass. Watch this bass. Ah! 
Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, we and I've talked a lot of old nonsense. So, do you yeah. wanna, why don't you put that down? Put that down. You put that down. Put that down. You play that. Play that. All right. Oh, and, uh, ooh, I didn't mention this. Sorry, one more thing. On this, a lovely satin finish neck, aside from the, the gloss. I mean, right. the gloss does feel comfy, but... Um, yeah, I, straight I, I, away. I like, I like a satin neck. Yeah, yeah that does feel, uh, does feel nice straight away. So, um, All right, well, so yeah, you, shall you we? You have a fiddle about and I'll uh, go through some of these. We'll start off back pickup. Yeah. We'll run through some of the different tones on there, then we'll do front pickup, and then we'll do both together. And uh, yeah. <laughs> B-flat, everyone. Cool. Yes. B-flat. B-flat. Oh, great flat. advice. <laughs> um, yeah. No, was, I'll tell you what. That's pretty good. It is. I like that. It is. I know. I, 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 was, um, I was fluffing up a little bit there. I think this, the, this is fresh out of the box. So it could be we have a little... Uh, Little, a little, little tweak. A little bit of buzz. But, um, no, that's my fault, because I tweaked it. Because when it came out, it was uh, it needed... I'd gone too far the other way. That's all right. So, but, uh, Still comfy. It, it in, right? That's all right. But, yeah, that sounds lovely. You know, so, and, and I love that the neck pickup on this is very interesting. Let me just go. You've got that throat throatiness of a P-bass, mm. but it's, it's also got some balls, like that, some extra sort of oomph with this preamp that you can yes, bring in. Yes, it has. Well, it's got a hell it's, of... It's just, yeah, it's got some, isn't it? It, it certainly has. It has. It's got lots. It's got lots of Whatever it. it is, Whatever it's it got is. lots of it. <laughs> right, all right. Wicked. Well, well, I think we like that, don't we? Well, so that is SWB Pro. So, say, so come in nice store. Nice slapping, by the way. They're very... Oh, early. no, no, don't. No, 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 no. It's good. It's all right. Um, it. I'll get there one day. Um, but, yeah, loads coming up, loads turning up soon in store. So if, you get, if you're around, come down and try them. Otherwise, have a look at all the colours on, online, so everything's there. Um, while we're on the subject of Chowney... Yeah. We've got a new pedal. Well, they've got a new pedal, and we've got it in. Ah. Um, so, I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah, cheers, boys. Oh, was he um, doing that? I get I'm my, like turn around my, like that. My besandled foot, I was going to get out of the way. <laughs> I, I just have to tell you, it's, it's red hot here. I don't know what it's like where you live. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but uh, you might live in Antarctica. You might be watching this from the South Pole. So it's uh, probably quite chilly. Hopefully, but where we hopefully are, it's roasting. So I've got shorts and sounds on today. Sorry about that. Right. No, it's all good. Uh, but yeah. You're on the floor, you've seen my brand new birthday trainers as well. Woo! Look at whoa! Happy birthday! <laughs> 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 now, we know converts like, look, that, that should Have be a lot, got... you know, a lot. Yeah, that's just ridiculous, isn't it? The they look very yeah. new. The pearly whites that's with my right. white t shirt. Um, <laughs> Yes, anyway, I digress. We're on the floor because Chowney have a new bass pedal, which yes. is called uh, the Basmosphere. Ooh. Which is a great name. Merry Basmus. Merry Basmus to you. <laughs> um, so uh, this is a chorus and reverb combined. <gasps> it's, I mean, we had a little, little play beforehand. It's very um, it's subtle. There's not much you can do with it, but what it does is really, really good. Right. Um, and I think for 62 quid, um, if you want a little bit of, yeah, they're 62 quid. 62 pounds, right? You know, really decent little chorus in there. The reverb, meh. You know, I think as a bass player, do you really, I don't know, I don't know. We'll play it, you see what you think. <laughs> give it here. Um, give it here. I'll have a that. fiddle. Um, we'll see what it does. Let's see what it does. So, uh, what we got? So we have, nice and simple, uh, level, rate, depth for, for chorus, um, and then reverb is kind of just on or off um, as, a, as, a, as a sweeping. Well, you see, it doesn't really sweep much. But yeah, it's either on or off. Um, and I love the little lights, so when it's on, you can kind of see where you are. Well, that's always Andy, isn't it? Always Andy. <laughs> so, uh, like a light. Like a light. Uh, so here we go. I say what, let me take everything off first. Right, and, and dial we'll, it in. And we'll dial it in. Reverb off, so this is just chorus first. Yeah, yeah, so you've got a nice, nice usable chorus there. That was going from like rate completely off to full up and depth up, back down to about 12 o'clock. Um, reverb. 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 Let's have a look. Isn't it? A little bit, a gated yeah. reverb. Yeah, and it's quite, um, it's very like a very small room reverb, and it? it sounds like. Yeah. But um, uh, to be honest, it doesn't really seem to be doing much after 12 o'clock. Uh, oh. Before 12 o'clock, sorry. After that. Bit like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but we did find a little nice little combo between having a little, that little bit of reverb coming in yeah. and a bit of chorus. So actually combined together. Okay. Let's have a little look, matey. That This is, uh, I think even that is worth 62 quid. <laughs> well, there you go. That sound, I think, uh, that's that's great. Yeah. Um, but yeah. They've so, been busy, haven't they, Chowney? They have. They do some other pedals too, don't they? They do, yes. We've seen, we've had a look at the uh, the Fuzster, the Chowney Fuzster, the oh. uh, Overdrive. Okay. Um, which is, again, really, really good, really affordable. Um, that's about 50, 50, 60 quid as well. Mm. Um, there is one that we haven't actually featured on the show yet, which is the, uh, the Pitchcraft. Uh, which is their um, pitch shifter or um, uh, harmon harmonizer octave pedal? Is sorry. Okay. Um, I'm not too sure on it. I'm not too sure on it. To be quite honest. No, I think we can get it on then, maybe. We'll I think let's get it on. And yeah, we should have looked. But I chose the boys. Let's in get the, it uh, on. Let's get it on. There's a uh, there a couple of bass players in the shop as well that I've gotten to try, it and we yeah. were, we were a little bit jury's out on it. So that's why we haven't got it in stock yet. Um, but if we should, and some some you guys watching have owned one, and you think we're making a complete mistake, then please tell me. And we'll get it in, but yeah, we'll, we'll grab one in to do a do a video soon. But they are up to a lot. They've um, 
they've just revamped their new CHB range as well. We've looked at those before, mate. The semi-hollow kind of 335-esque. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, uh, again, short-scale bases, hollow-body bases. Yeah. Um, and they've just done a complete sort of overhaul on that, all um, new specs, new finishing in a new factory as well. So that's why they're... Um, there's quite a lot of gear coming out at the moment. Busy boys. They are busy. They right. are busy. Good. So, uh, well, that's good for British manufacturing. Yeah, British, well, yeah, yeah. British company. But yeah. anyway, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. Just go with it. Yeah. But absolutely. <laughs> but there we are for a nice little uh, Chalmney update. Yeah, cool. Thanks, thanks, Scott Whitley. Yeah, nice one. Yeah. All right, lovely. All right, well, that's just about wraps that up then. Absolutely. So, uh, should we uh, say goodbye? Let's shall. Let's shall. <laughs> Let's what? shall. Man, what? It's too hot. Let's what? So that's shall. <laughs> shall we? It is hot. I'm so hot. Oh man. All right. Listen, you play this one. I'll play that one. All right. Cheers, and you, mate. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's cool. Right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This has been all about the base. Uh, I've been Nathan. I think I've been Lee. He has, but he's had a long weekend. It's his birthday, bless him. And I think he's been out all weekend. Do you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, that explains a lot. It's great. Let's shall. Let's shall. Let's do this. <laughs> everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.